All right, guys, so some bad news today to start off our Wednesday, or be the middle of the day by the time you guys see this, but Battlefield rumors, leaks, whatever you want to call them, the game is possibly getting delayed. Now, with my look, by the time I post the video, there'll probably be like a trailer or an announcement or a tweet saying, oh yeah, game's getting delayed, or no, game's not getting delayed, it's still coming out, the beta comes out tomorrow. Typically, that's how my luck goes, so if there's a video out or a tweet, by the time this video goes live, that's what happened. As of right now, it is just a rumor. So what's the official rumor that's going around? It's basically, at first, it was that the game's going to get delayed by a few months, and that's been going on for a while, basically, ever since the game, the trailer had been shown off and all of that stuff, and everything else was getting delayed, and Dying Light 2 just got delayed. If you didn't know that, it got delayed to February instead of the original December release date. And so, now the rumor for Battlefield is that it's going to be delayed a few weeks. And so, it was going to come out at the end of October, middle of October, if you got one of those big boy editions that are like 120 bucks. I think it, I want to say it was like the 15th or something, if you bought one of those editions, and then the 20-something if you got... A normal edition and so that was the original date and still is the official date but with this delayed rumor delay at least it would be pushed back to something like November the end of November right and so that was it that was kind of stage two of this rumor and now we're in what I call stage three which is the bullshit stage so Essentially, people are saying, oh, it's getting delayed because of this, and it's getting delayed because of that, and blah, 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 and just making stuff up because it's, you know, been going about for so long that it's going to be delayed. And the only one that I've seen that's at least semi-interesting and I could see them actually doing is they're delaying it because it's going to push the date back closer to Call of Duty so that it'll compete with Call of Duty, and everyone is uh, not reacting well to all of the Call of Duty trailers, all the Vanguard trailers, the release trailer, multiplayer trailer, all of that just has a pretty decent amount of dislikes. And so, based off of the poor reception to all those trailers, they're pushing this closer so that hopefully those people who can't buy the 14 games that come out at the end of the year and have to pick and choose will pick Battlefield over Call of Duty. Now, do I think that's why they did it? No, they don't care. They know, well, yes, there's people like me who play both, these games are drastically different, right? You have your Battlefield people, and you have your Call of Duty people, right? And they cross over, and like I said, that's probably a large amount of the audience, but it's not like Battlefield's gonna do bad. Battlefield usually always does better than Call of Duty score rating-wise. Sales-wise, it's Call of Duty. Nothing's gonna pass Call of Duty. So, back to the rumor and all of that about the delay. A lot of people are complaining and that a bunch of games have been getting delayed recently. And not due to COVID, just that they release a date and the game just doesn't come out on that date, which I agree is annoying. But then there's that whole split of, you know, would you rather have the game just come out when they say it's going to come out or delay it and it'd be good. And then people are like, well, they delayed Cyberpunk and that wasn't good. But that's because Cyberpunk wasn't done. They were just tired of delaying it. Personally, if you've watched my videos, you know which side I'm on. Delay the game. All right? If the game's not done, if the game's broken, if it looks bad, it doesn't run, there's not enough server space, delay the game. All right? Because if your game comes out two weeks later, yes, that's annoying, and I have to wait two more weeks, but that's fine. If your game launches where I can't get into a server... Like, what was the last Battlefield game that did that? I think Battlefield Hardline I couldn't get in to the servers was the last one I remember having problems with. If it's super buggy, if one of the classes is unbalanced, anything like that, that's the first thing and the last thing people are going to be talking about, about Battlefield 2042 for the entire life of its career, right? If this game launches with bad servers, people are never going to shut up about that. If the game gets delayed two weeks, people are going to complain for like three days and then get over it. But that's just my opinion. You guys let me know what you think of this whole rumor. Again, if they literally release a tweet like with b before noon today, then uh, that's just unfortunate on my part, <laughs> but it is what it is. 
you guys let me know if you want the game to get delayed, if you're not getting the game, if you're going to get Vanguard instead, if you th think this looks significantly better than Vanguard, and I hope you do. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.